So the first order of business is to show you how to set up a new project. And then I'll show you how to import assets. And assets include video files, audio, still images, and graphics. And then I'll show you how to import two particular types of files, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator files. They have some characteristics that need some special attention when you import them into After Effects. And then finally, I'll explain how you organize all these assets inside the project panel. Now, as I've mentioned before, I'm bypassing the Start menu, and I did that by changing a preference. If the Start menu opened, you'd see a little button for New Project. But it's kind of superfluous, because when you open up After Effects this way, you already have a project open. It's called Untitled Project. Now, projects are not complex things. They're very simple. Just think of a project as a container, a container in which you put assets and compositions. That's it. So all you need to do is give your project a file folder location and a name. So I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm going to take one little detour here. And that detour is by going to File and seeing this thing that says New, and then New Project. So why not do this? So you do this if you're already working on a different project and you want to start a new one. So you need to take this route to start a new project. But we're starting a new project from scratch. So the way you do that is by going down here to Save As, clicking Save As again. It does seem redundant, but that's the way it works. And what you need to do now is find some location on your hard drive, set that location and give it a name. So in my case, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and I suggest you do the same. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder and here in Windows, that's just a right click new folder. I'm going to name this one course files because as we go through this course, you might create some files that you want to put in a different folder than the materials folder. And now I need to select that. And now I need to give the project a name. So I'm just going to call it new project test just for my purposes, like so. You can see the name up here in the title bar, new project test. And now this project, this container, is now ready for you to fill it up with assets and also create some comps in it. 